has been pulled out towards deep mid wicket straight into the hands of the fielder. Sid Elise takes the catch and the Sapphires lose their first. Shanida Sutirwang has her fourth wicket of the season and a much deserved one at that. High fives from her teammates. Was dug in somewhat back of a length, swatted by Gabby Lewis, but straight down the throat of Sunelise in the deep. The Sapphires lump to nine for one with Gabby Lewis out for one. It's been swung high in the air, down towards long on and taken! What a superb catch that is from Alia Riaz over her shoulder. Great work in the deep. Put that straight into the highlights reel because Alia Riaz herself is going to watch that a fair few times. Chani Dasifiriwan gets a second wicket of the innings and what a superb grab was that from the Pakistan all-rounder. Sivana Jimmy tried to go big, connected only with the tail end of the bat Ali Arias running backwards, kept her eyes on the ball, and here she is with a fine, fine take. The Sapphires lose their third wicket, and in fact, the second, and they are 13 for two with Sibona Jimmy out for five. And Izzy, we were talking about this earlier in the day as well. I guess we'll get back to it, but Farrant, Silver Brunt. Ah, it's in the slot, but it's gone up in the air. Will it be caught? Yes, it will. As easy as they come, Stefani Taylor, the captain. Again, it's gone straight down the throat. Tash Farrant rather slicing that, throwing the hands at it. It's a slower ball, not much foot movement. And that has gone aerial. Yes, the Ruang, an intelligent bit of bowling to pick up a third wicket. That was skied up, a very easy catch for Stefani Taylor. So Suti Ruang, she can find that early movement with the new ball. She's got those street smarts as well, just rolling her fingers over that. And they're in more than just a spot of bother. 29 for four now, the Sapphires.